Now we're going to look at an example. Let's go with a classic. A pear falling out of a pear tree. So if a 200 gram pear falls out of a 2 metre pear tree, how strong is the gravitational force that acts on the pear? Firstly, we should draw a diagram of the situation. Now the gravitational force, as we know from our previous video, is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So the gravitational force, Fg, is equal to mg. Now from our last video, we know that this force is pointing downwards, and we'll model the pair as a point object with the force acting at the centre of mass. So let's plug in our values. We know the mass is 200 grams, and little g is the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 metres per second squared. So Fg equals 0.2 times 9.8 kilogram metres per second squared, which is equal to 1.96 newtons. Remember that force is measured in newtons, which is equal to kilogram metres per second squared. Now you may have noticed that the height of the tree doesn't affect our answer. Near the Earth's surface, we approximate the acceleration due to gravity as 9.8 metres per second squared, regardless of the height of objects above the ground. Force due to gravity also affects objects on the ground. After the pair hits the ground, it is still experiencing the same gravitational force, though in this case gravity is cancelled out by the normal force of the Earth's surface that acts to prevent objects sinking into the ground. For our next example, we'll investigate an object on an incline. 